Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to see that how one can make any open source model available via Olama. So most of the time, you know, Olama does not support all the open source LLMs, like mainly the quantized one, they support the standard LLMs. But for example, if you have a preferred choice and you want to inference that using Olama locally, how we can do that? And that's what we're going to see in this video that how we can, you know, make the open source models available via Olama locally in your system. So if you look at here on my screen, I am on uh, Eliza, okay, uh, a repository on Hugging Face. Uh, they basically build Japanese LLM. So if you look at here, okay, uh, if you open this, it will take you to Eliza AI, you know, let's translate to English. And I have translated to English, but anyway, I think that's an image or something. You can see it's an AI company centered on deep learning. You know, since successfully developing its own large scale in 2020, blah blah blah. Okay, and then you can keep reading about them. Now, they kind of have a lot of Japanese LLMs. So, for example, if you want to use these LLMs through, you know, Olama, how one can do that? And and it's also very important because now imagine if there's a new model comes out tomorrow so olama will not make that available immediately they will make the base model available or the instruction tuned model available but what if you have quantized you know the ggo format or awq or whatever and you want to use that through olama how you can do that so you have to do a few things and then you'll be able to perform the inference as well so first thing that you have to do is download this model file you can see it's ggeuf which is an unified format for inferencing llms quantization are like compressing the model weights it's it's like rounding off you know a very hyped word nowadays in the ai ecosystem that's called quantization basically you know if you have compute limited hardware how you can use these quantized versions to basically uh, run the llms or inference the llms the right word so now you have to download this you can download any other ggf you know uh, file that you have you know for example llama 3 you can also take gemma 27b ggf you can take mistral you can take qn you can take any other models you know it's your choice now i have you know, downloaded this a large file once you download that make sure you have olama installed if you don't have olama installed you just search olama and it, you can see it says download olama now Olama is basically a tool that helps you run LLMs locally. So basically you can keep your data private, you know, you, if you are working with confidential data, you know, that helps you basically run the LLMs within your own infrastructure. Now you can download this on all the operating systems with Mac OS, Linux and Windows. And I am on Windows right now, already have Olama. So I'm not gonna uh, uh, install it, but you can download and install. Okay, I have a lot of videos on Olama. I'll give those link in description that you can have a look. Now, once you download these guys, it takes a bit of time because it's a huge file like 5 GB. So you have to be a bit patient. Now, what you have to do, you have to create a model file. So you can see I have created a model file. So let me just show you. Now, this is the model file, but these are nothing, but these are like base, basic settings, response template, you know, system prompts, generation parameters like inference params, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, if you look at here, this 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 is my model. You know, over here, the same thing that we are downloading from this thing. You know, this one, Q4 KM K medium. They are K small. They are K medium. They are K large kind of model. K medium 4-bit quantized are the most recommended uh, quantized version. Now, if I go back here, you know, you can see I have the template, and make sure that you are following these templates based on the model's compatibility. So, if you are using Mistral. This might not this might not look like this okay this model file so you have to change accordingly you know what kind of response template system system prompt generation parameters etc you know are compatible with that llm so here i have followed the llama 3.1 you know uh, standards whatever they have given now this is a model file that you create and once you have that and once you downloaded the model you have to now you know run the command to create an Olama model from this model file and I'm going to show you you know uh, now because you can see I have just you know in downloading this model so let it complete and then we can run the command to make the model available via Olama all right guys 
so you can see I have downloaded the model here it's called Lama 3 Eliza GAP Japanese 8B Q4 K M G G U F and this is where my model file is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this so let me just run the command so basically the command is Olama create you can see I already have done it previously you know so it's suggesting me Eliza and you can just you know name name the model so what I'm gonna do is and this name that you were writing it's basically is not the same GGUF model name like you can name it basically that will show in the Olama model list hyphen f model file means like it's in the same directory you know where I have the model file like the model file model file is in the same root directory that I'm running this command in. if you have that somewhere else you have to give the path okay now I'm given the model file and once you run it you can see it says transforming model data okay now this process will take a bit of time for uh, for us and what it does it create it takes this model file and make this model available through Olama so you can use Olama tool the web UI the terminal the CLI everything to basically inference and build rag system I also have shown how you can use Olama web UI open web UI and you can also use these models your own model that you have built you know it's not your own model but the model that you have made available through Olama let's wait for it and see once this is done we'll inference it all right guys as you can see the model has been successfully built within olama so now we can use this model we made it available elisa jp japanese 8b model uh, which is a llama 3 model for japanese and now as you can see when you see writing manifest and success you can now run the model so what i'm going to do is Olama run and you have to name the models whatever model that you have named so you can see we have named Eliza JP and then I call it 8B and now once you run it so first time it will take a bit of time and also guys it depends on your compute okay now if you have a better compute it will be faster it will give you better tokens per second or more tokens per second now if you have like the machine that I'm running right now it's not that high-end machine but even though it doesn't matter so the idea is to show you how you can make it available and how you can run it for the first time it takes a bit of time but yeah once this is running you can now inference with it so you can see what I'm doing here I'm you know I'm just using English to Japanese convert I don't know Japanese so what I'm doing is I'm asking write a fast API code to make an API call and you can just copy this and you can ask this question and then whatever answer that you get from this you can see now send a message so I'm just sent a message here you know once you see send a message you know it means that you can ask your question or you can put your input prompt and it will then answer it and the compute depends on your uh, the tokens per second depends on your compute if you have a very high end GPU that or a CPU that I recommend that you should have a high end CPU there you can see how slow it is here yeah so that that's what it is you need a need a good machine to get a better output but this is how you make any model available so you go on hugging face download that particular GGUF model create a model file and then uh, do Olama create give a name and then uh, uh, pass to the model file and once that is manifest are written successfully then you can now you know start inferencing it and it's pretty slow as you can see in my system but that's fine you can see it's responding something and you can see the speed how bad it is you know in my current system that i'm recording this video you know so but anyway it's written something you know <laughs> this is so pathetic okay let me just copy this thing here okay and you can see you now it's generating i'll put something here and see what it has generated so far okay or i'll make this japanese okay and then English and I'll just remove this thing below is you can see that means below is so it has given something yeah now it's giving you below is a fast API code or something it will give and it will give you a fast API code but yeah we successfully ran it and that was the agenda of this video if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one